this video is kid friendly. Cooking with Trina presents cinnamon rolls. Here's a list of ingredients you'll need to make your cinnamon rolls. You'll need one cup of whole milk, one fourth ounce packet of dry active yeast, one fourth cup plus one fourth teaspoon granulated sugar, one fourth teaspoons of unsalted butter, one egg, one and one half teaspoons of vanilla extract, two and three fourths cup of all purpose flour, three fourths teaspoons of salt, and one half teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, which is optional. First, add one cup of your milk into the saucepan. Heat it on a low temperature to avoid burning or overheating the milk. Heat milk to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. Add yeast and 1 fourth teaspoon of sugar. Don't stir it though. Set aside until foamy. This will take about five minutes. Once foamy, whisk in the egg and vanilla. It's best that the egg is at room temperature so it doesn't cool down the yeast. Now whisk all your ingredients together until they're combined. This is going to be your liquid mixture. Now whisk in your melted butter. Again, make sure that it becomes fully combined Combine flour, the remaining sugar, salt, and into a mixing bowl for you. Now you're going to add your liquid mixture. Use your hands or a mixer to combine the dough together. Once all the dough is combined, you're going to form it into a nice bowl. You're going to need to coat your clean bowl with cooking spray, vegetable oil, or butter. This will prevent the dough from sticking to the bowl while it rises. Cover the dough with plastic wrap and leave it on the counter for an hour. Don't leave any holes in the plastic wrap or the dough will get crunchy layer on top and we don't want that. During the one hour, the dough will rise and expand and foam into a ball of fluffy happiness. I almost forgot, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. After one hour, place your dough down onto the counter coated with flour. Your dough should look like this. Start working your dough. You can do this with your hands or with a rolling pin. If you're wearing any jewelry, you should remove it. That way you don't have any um, dough getting inside of your like jewelry. Make your dough into a long rectangle. Yeah, work that dough. Take some butter and rub it onto the surface of the dough. This will help the ingredients stick to the dough. To make your filling, combine brown sugar, nutmeg, cinnamon, all into a bowl. Make sure that it's the flavor that you want. You can just combine as much of the ingredients as you want. After adding the mixture onto the surface, you're going to want to roll your dough up into a log. Make sure it's tight so none of the yummy filling comes out. Take a sharp knife and slice your log of dough. Be very careful not to hurt yourself. Knives are sharp. Discard your ends since they will have little to no filling and that won't be yummy. You can reuse the dough for other things or make some extra rolls. 
Take your baking pan and place the center rolls inside. Oh, they look so yummy already. Oven time! Bake the buns until golden brown. This will take about 35 to 40 minutes. So yummy! Time to top them with some yummy icing. Mmm! To make icing, just combine powdered sugar and vanilla with milk or melted butter. And that's how you make cinnamon buns! Yay! <laughs>